Hey, this is Joe with Grow Up Building. Today I'm going to give you an update on how leaf mulch has improved my garden soil in 2022. If you have looked into using leaves as a mulch in your garden, you have likely come across one of my videos documenting my use of leaf mulch over the years and how it's vastly improved my soil, garden yields, and how it suppresses weeds. Well, this video will be an update for the 2021-2022 growing season and how I use leaf mulch. In this video, I'm going to show you how many leaves I added in uh, the fall of 2021, the noticeable improvements for spring planting, change in topsoil improvements at the end of the year, weed suppression, and then I'll give you a little update to squash bugs and such that I've dealt with last year that I had talked about. Okay, let's get started. In 2021, when I broke down my garden for winter, I first added a little layer of compost that year. I had enough compost to cover the entire garden with a single thin layer, a quarter inch to a half inch maybe. But then I added leaves once again, this time from two different neighbors who bag and throw away their leaves on the street. This resulted in around a 12 inch, 12 plus inches of leaf mulch on my whole garden. A very similar amount as the previous year. This time though, I didn't mow anything. I just piled them up and tried to get them as even as I could. Over the winter, the leaf mulch compressed on itself as it normally does and by spring it had shrunk to about a four inch thick layer. It's a bit spongy when you walk on it, but easy enough to plant in nonetheless. It's easy to plant seedlings into leaf mulch by removing the leaves, planting, and then reapplying mulch, leaving a little gap at the stems. And when planting my seed started tomatoes and peppers, what was really noticeable to me this year was just how easy it was to dig in the soil. When I first built the garden, I had awful inorganic soil. It was so compacted that I broke a spade and a mattock digging the garden my first year. For the first few years, any hole I dug was a chore. I had to jump on a spade using both feet and pry up the dirt. But since I've been using leaf mulch, the compaction has steadily improved. And this year, a trowel would slide right into the soil like butter. I could stab my small garden trowel into the soil almost to the full length of the handle with very little resistance. It obviously makes planting my veggies much nicer. Planting seeds directly into the garden is a little more complicated. For individual squash or zucchini plants, I just remove layers of leaves, I set down seed, and then fill in the hole with compost. I do that so that leaves don't then blow in on top. But when I've tried planting rows of seeds in this manner, it hasn't always worked out. And that large of an area to fill with compost, I just I haven't had a ton of germination. But I will be trying some new experiments in the coming spring, and I will report back with results. It's blatantly obvious that all the decomposed leaves is having some major positive effects. I've shown the color difference in top layers of soil from 2019 to 2020 to 2021. And I started at about a quarter inch or six millimeters in 2019 to a solid two inches in 2020 and to four plus inches in 2021. Now in 2022, I'm at five to seven inches of substantial black crumbly soil, depending on where I take my sample. And if you guys are enjoying this update, please click the thumbs up and give me a like. It really helps my channel out and I really do appreciate it. Also, I have lots of other information on leaf mulch, uh, documenting what nutrients they had, some other reasons why you should do it, some tips on how to get them. Um, I will link to those articles below in the video description. To gather the data in 2022, I took multiple samples, each having five to seven inches of uh, the black stuff. But I want you to look closely at these layers as they're filled with roots from the surrounding vegetable plants. Also, even when I stab my shovel down into the dirt and lever it forward, you can easily see the color difference. But you can also notice that there seems to be some trickling down into the deeper soil nicely of organic matter. Whether this is from worm castings or decomposed roots, I'm not certain. But nonetheless, the soil is much easier to work. Also, we expanded our garden partly in the spring of 2022. As my kids decided they needed their own vegetable garden, so we also decided to expand it further this fall. And before I do that, though, I wanted to take the opportunity to show and refresh your memory as to what my soil underneath the surrounding grass looks like. What you are seeing here is what the soil in my vegetable garden was in 2017 when I first built the garden, and even by 2019 it was basically the same. So looking at what the soil underneath my lawn looks like compared to 2019, when I first applied a lot of leaves, to today can show you quite a change. 
as I now have that distinct layer of black that I can assume is mainly decomposed or composted leaves, as that is the only major change I've made to the entire garden. Also, the upper layer of my soil is not as compacted and it's much easier to work. The size of my plants have noticeably increased each year along with their yield. And here is a shovel full from the top layer of my vegetable garden that I just walked over and got. And you can see the difference between the soil underneath the grass. And there's an extreme difference in color and compaction that you could just blatantly see. Ever since I started using leaf mulch on my garden, I really haven't used any form of supplemental fertilizer or synthetic fertilizers of any kind. When I first started my garden, I used to use Job's organic fertilizer along with compost when I first planted my seedlings. But ever since I started doing leaf mulch in 2019, the fall of 2019, I have not done that. The only other things I may do to my garden soil is last fall, I top dressed the entire thing with compost. And then every year when I plant my vegetable seedlings, I mix compost in when I backfill. But that's all that I do. I don't do anything else. So take that for what it's worth. Finally, when it comes to weeds, I've shown you over time how the leaf mulch just suppresses weeds in the garden. Well, that trend continued with minimal weeding on my part. I doubt that I spent more than 60 minutes all year weeding. Here are some shots of what my garden looked like throughout the growing season. Um, the main part I had to weed was on the walkway paths because, you know, I, my foot traffic will kind of break down the leaves faster there, but it's really not a problem. The amount of labor I saved in not weeding is reason enough to use a thick layer of leaf mulch, in my opinion. And here is what it looks like right now in October. In last year's update, I documented a battle I was having with squash bugs. Well, there were several commentators who pointed out that I may have had squash vine borers instead. And well, I believe they were correct. So I did some research on how to deal with them and was a little more prepared this year. For those unaware, a squash vine borer lays eggs inside of the base of the stem of a squash plant like zucchini, pumpkin, spaghetti squash, and the larvae will eat their way up the stem, eventually killing the plant as they grow by making it impossible for water and nutrients to reach the leaves. So this year I was on the lookout for this and I was able to identify some bore holes and successfully dig out the larvae with a pocket knife and then just rebury it in compost, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'm getting some nice squashes as a reward. That being said, I wasn't vigilant enough and I did still lose a couple of zucchini plants eventually though, but not until I was able to harvest a decent number from them. But that's about all I have for you in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps me out and I truly do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them and I will do my best to answer them in the comments below. And yeah, you guys all have a good one.